Here comes another important tip from the Personal Defense Network. At ICE Training Company, we develop counter ambush curriculums. Our programs are designed for personal defense or professional firearms use in the worst case scenario, commonly known as emergencies. And we've now developed some accessories designed specifically for emergency manipulations with a defensive handgun. Now, as you can see, this magazine base plate is a little bit different than your standard magazine base plate. It's got a lip. In fact, it's got a claw. This claw doesn't get in the way of the normal use of the firearm. If I take this magazine and insert it into my magazine well, you can see that it barely extends beyond the grip. It certainly doesn't interfere with my one-handed grip or my two-handed grip when I'm shooting the firearm, when I'm in the ready position, or when I'm doing a normal reload. But what that lip gives me, that claw gives me, is the opportunity to get a better purchase on this magazine if I have a malfunction. In the true worst case scenario, where I have two rounds trying to get into the chamber at the same time, and this magazine will not drop free, in this emergency, I need to be able to rip this magazine out. Getting a better purchase with this finger on the edge of that claw gives me the opportunity to do that with much less time, effort, and energy. And of course, if I end up in a situation where I'm doing this with one hand, maybe I'm holding on to a child, maybe I've been injured, for some other reason, I can't use this hand in the fight, now this claw can be used to hook on the holster, the belt, or the edge of my pocket to get this magazine out of the gun in a way that is much easier than if I have no hook to actually grip onto. Getting that hook on the belt, pulling out, and then using our next accessory, this forward hooked, again, clawed rear sight to emergency manipulate the slide back to clear the chamber. I turn the gun after removing the magazine, turn the gun back in, hook that rear sight, and start working the slide until I get to the point where it's clear. At this point, of course, I'm gonna go back into my holster, I'm gonna find another magazine, insert it into the magazine well, come back out of the holster, and again, I'm gonna use that hook to come back down onto my belt, onto my holster, or even the edge of my pocket, work the slide, come back up, drive out, and be able to take my shot. Now, other than the claw that looks forward, this is actually a normal rear sight, very close to standard, a little bit wider gap, because of course we're talking about a personal defense firearm, emergency sight use for higher precision. We want a wider notch so that we can pick up that front sight easily, but still confirm good sight alignment and get a good sight picture. The emergency manipulation accessories don't just stop with the claw and with the hook on the rear sight. We're also gonna be developing a extended slide release that allows us to, because of the angles and the shape, and again, this is another prototype, this isn't a final version, because of the angles and the surface areas, for someone with a longer thumb, it gives us the opportunity to vector downward force inward to release a magazine, or forward force inward to release a magazine. So now, regardless whether you have short thumbs and you generally come forward on your magazine release, or longer thumbs and you come down on your magazine release, you can start to press earlier because you don't have to release your thumb from the gun and press in on the magazine release solely to get that magazine out. So of course, this means it's gonna be faster and easier for me to drop that magazine during that slide lock reload. It also means that I'm gonna be able to get a more reliable purchase on that magazine release in the case where I have to strip the magazine or I have to eject the magazine one-handed before doing that one-handed reload. Whenever we get to the point where we're gonna design accessories for emergency manipulation, the main thing that we have to worry about is that these things are not gonna interfere with our normal functioning when we aren't in that absolute worst case scenario. We wanna make sure that we have reliability and that we then enhance that reliability in a worst case scenario, or we expand the circumstances under which we can use that device. A claw on the base plate that doesn't get in the way of normal manipulations helps you in an emergency. A forward cant, an aggressive claw on the rear sight will help you in an emergency. And a magazine release that not only is extended, but is also edged and surfaced so that we can use more angles and more different kinds of pressure to release our magazine could help you in a worst case scenario. Look for these accessories soon from ICE Training Company. Be sure to check out the Personal Defense Network for more important tips just like that one.